Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for Yahweh No One by Chris Tomlin and Elevation Worship. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. Alright, grab your acoustic guitar and a capo and let's get started. All right, so you'll notice my capo is on the third fret. And before we dive into the tutorial, I just have to say, Chris Tomlin didn't steal this one this time. He was a co-writer on this particular song. So although Elevation had produced it on their latest album, he co-wrote it with Elevation Worship. So the more you know. All right, so again, my capo is on the third fret. We're going to be playing in the key of G to match the original key, which is B flat for the Chris Tomlin recording. And one more thing, really, I believe that this recording is a little bit more attainable for smaller worship bands. So if you're not used to the elevation sound, you might want to stick with this arrangement only because it's a little bit nicer for smaller worship teams. So anyway, here are the chords you need to know. G, C, D, E minor, G over B, and D over F sharp. Pretty simple chords here, so let's break down on how I'm playing each one. G, I'm putting my middle finger on the low E string, third fret, index finger, A string, second fret, ring finger and pinky on the high E and B strings, and I get to strum everything. For C, I want to keep the same shape, but drop my middle finger and index finger down a string. So now my middle finger is covering the A string, 3rd fret, index finger, D string, 2nd fret. I'm going to avoid strumming the low E string. And that's your C chord. Alright, for D, you're going to put your index finger on the G string, 2nd fret, middle finger, high E, 2nd fret also, and the B string is covered by your ring finger, 3rd fret. You have to avoid strumming the low E and A string for this. For D over F sharp, it's a little funkier. Put your index finger on the low E string, 2nd fret, middle finger, G string, 2nd fret also, ring finger on the B string, 3rd fret again, and your index finger is going to automatically blunt the A string, which is okay, but you're going to try to have this sound when you strum the low E all the way down to the B string. Avoid strumming the high E. That's D over F sharp. All right, for E minor, put your index finger and middle finger on the A and D strings of the second fret. Then put your ring finger and pinky down again on the high E and B strings. Now this is optional. You can keep those fingers off or put them on. So this is with those fingers on. This is with them off. Now I believe this arrangement has the pinky and ring finger pressing down those two strings. So you might want to stick with that. Last but not least, G over B, you're going to put that G shape again, but just take that middle finger off that low E string slightly, and that is a G over B chord. You're going to emphasize the A string on down, really. And there you go. Those are all the chords you need to know, you guys. So before we dive in, just to keep in mind, I'm going to put the chords on screen for you. I'll say them as we go along, and I'll go over strumming patterns after we play through the song. All right, here we go. G, D, C, G, D, C, G, D, C, G, D, C, E minor. D, C, G, D, C, G, D, C, G, D, C, E minor, D over F sharp, G over B, C, G, D, C, G, D, C, G, D, C, G, D, C. G, D, 
D.C. Email D.C. G. D.C. G. Sharp G over B C G D C G D C G D C G Who else can lead us, lead us to free? G D C G D C G D C G D C G Sharp G over B C E minor D over F sharp G over B C E minor D over F sharp G over B C G D C G Well, everyone, I hope that I was able to help you out with that tutorial. Let's go over some strumming patterns and let's start with the beginning of the song. There really isn't any acoustic guitar in the beginning until Chris starts singing. So this is the strumming pattern I'm using. It's just a down strum, palm muted pattern. So just going from G, D to C and I'm palm muting and really just doing eighth notes. And you might have noticed I accent on certain offbeats, so just be aware of that. The next step is the chorus, which is really easy because you're just strumming whole notes. G, D, C, G, D, C, then E minor, D over F sharp, G over B, C. And you get the idea. It's probably the easiest part of the song, but the hardest part is right after when the instrumental comes around. This is the strumming pattern I'm using and it starts on G. So kind of a galloping pattern here, and I'm going to try to slow it down for you. So here it is without my left hand forming chords. And then slowing down the right hand. So 
So I'm sorry I'm not able to go too much in depth into that pattern. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to explain it in written text, but strumming pattern really isn't my forte, you guys. It's really just finding the chords through the song. So I really appreciate your support and really appreciate your viewership. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. And again, hopefully I was able to help you out with that tutorial. All right, have a great week. God bless.